Okay, this is a quick video on how to fix this electric pencil sharpener. A friend of mine brought it over and the kids had jammed some pencils and stuff in it. And so I took it apart and I just wanted to show you how I fixed it. It's quite simple. You just have to know how to get into it. This is a, a as you can see, an Exacto School Pro. The model number of this one is a 167X. So the very first thing you got to do is to pull out this tray. Now I want to show you this little probe here. This probe goes into a micro switch inside here. This will not turn on unless this is uh, attached. So just keep that in mind. The next thing you want to do is to remove these screws. So we've got a screw here, screw here, screw here. I believe, uh, and I believe there are a couple of screws up in here, but we'll start with taking these off. So here we'll see that there is a strain relief right here. This is called a strain relief and it sits down in that pocket right there. So we just want to make sure we put that back when we go to put it all back together. All right. Now, like I said, there are two small screws right up inside here that we'll take out. I'm going to have to get a smaller screwdriver for that one. Okay, so I have a uh, smaller screwdriver now and we'll uh, reach in here, take these out. Still biting a bit in there. Good. Okay, so once I had it apart, what I noticed was uh, I wanted to show you this little door here. It's a micro switch on a slider. So the pencil hits that, moves the micro switch over and allows you to uh, poke the pencil into the bore and then it activates and turns on the sharpener. What the kids had done was they had jammed a pencil in and then broke it off inside. You can see how short it was. So what was happening was every time you tried to put another pencil in, it would only go in so far and it wouldn't uh, allow it to turn on. So that was really all that was wrong with it. I took it apart, cleaned it, blasted it out with some uh, compressed air, cleaned it all inside here and then put it back together. So I just wanted to show you that so that if the same type of thing is happening at your school or at home or wherever, that you don't go, uh, think there's more wrong with it than there is. You actually give it a good check over first before you throw it away. When you put it back together, you'll notice that the screws go into these little plastic tubes here like this. You, so you don't want to over tighten the screws. Um, it, they tend to be uh, easily stripped. So all you're trying to do is just kind of hold it in place. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get this back together quickly. They're fairly long screws, so it does take a little bit of turning to try and get them down, but you'll feel it start to tighten there. Okay, yep, that's about it. So, you don't, like I say, don't over tighten them. That's good. Okay, so now we need to make sure that our strain relief, like I said before, is in its proper location. So we'll just uh, make sure it sits in that little pocket on its own there. Uh, yep, it looks good. Okay, we'll try and fit the base back on. So we've got, again, with a pocket where the strain relief goes, sits in there. Once you're there, it fits together nicely. Drop your screws into place and tighten it up. Now, uh, when you go to test it, just make sure, like I showed you before, that this is back in its position. 
Let's where it is, plug it in, and you should be able to poke a pencil in, and it should work. Now, if it doesn't work, then maybe you've got some more serious problems going on. Uh, but that's what I found with this one. So I just wanted to show you the real simple cleaning, you know, fixing a simple, simple problem. I'm not going to get into uh, changing motors, that kind of thing. So anyways, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.